man. What's going on, man? Life. Shit, you, hey, you see where that boy DJ Envy, huh? You know how we always talk about gentrification? Hey, man, I seen this, uh, scamming the people out their money. He wasn't scamming them. He ain't know nothing about it. I mean, he was just, he got scammed too. What's up, fam? The nigga got scammed too, but he should have been advising niggas and telling niggas like, hey, man, like, hey, man, after a while, they know that nigga was getting down, my nigga. The man paying niggas out. We dropped one nigga out some jury. I seen all that. Yeah, 20K in jury. Man, the fuck that nigga. I want my motherfucking money. I gave you my shit. Gave you a half a million dollars. Hey. Hey, man. But you, you hear what everybody what they, say. Like, what that nigga Bounty Tate say? You fucking with the church's money. <laughs> you fucking with some Bounty Tate money. Right. Hey, man. Fuck that nigga Bounty Tate. Fuck that Hey, look, man, bro. it's getting real out here, but, uh... Bro, you dealing with all the people with millions of dollars. You got rappers. You got all type of stars on there. You could have all them invest in property. Y'all could have bought up a block in every city. They had bought a block. The people were scamming, but how you know you... How they was running a Ponzi scheme. That man was in on it. They selling the same property three, four times. But I'm saying though, how nigga said you the same property three, four times, you know, on real. And then like, like, I mean, they like, damn, things. no, listen, I don't know, my nigga. They say he got one nigga out of a million dollars. But these people got millions of dollars of, I mean, like, oh. Yeah, that's, that's why it don't make sense to us. But we talk about this every day. Nah, it makes sense because they invested in their money they, they were going, how you invest in something you know that is worth more than really what you paying for? You thought you was gonna get more, however, and you ain't, it ain't come out the way it was so that's all it is, but uh, it's fucked up. Bro, like that. look, <clears throat> even the people like John Morant, man got 200 million or 500 million. Yeah. And if you can't, so, like I told you, bro, the chain only as strong as the weakest link. Nah, it ain't even my nigga John Morant, just a young nigga. And everything coming fast now. Like, you gotta look at it. These niggas is making it fun to carry guns. And people is taking guns to school now. Like, it's cool. You that scared, bitch ass. Nigga, I know we ain't pressing like that. Nigga gonna punch your bitch ass now. Nigga ain't taking no straps to no. I mean, nigga, it got real when niggas had to. Uh, but nigga, like. Man, my nigga, like, it done got watered down. And then if you is gonna bring the blicky, what they call the tool, the strap, the arson, whatever, the the uprod, how you gonna, hey man, she fucking up our interview with that stupid ass shit. Come on, man. Hey, man. You, you got us. We trying to do a video right here. Yeah, you trying to do a video. You want to be seen? Here you go. Here you go. Now you on camera. Yeah, yeah. You want to be seen? Yeah. Yeah, I see you got on those Daisy Dukes. Look at them guys. I see you got the Daisy Dukes. Yeah, I see you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's get back to our interview. What we talking about that John Moran and them uh. Man, the nigga on some CDs. This is the world we living in, my nigga. That's why they doing 